The most commonly performed abdominal projection is the supine AP. It is also often referred to as a KUB because it includes the kidneys, ureters, and bladder. Projections used to complement the supine AP include an upright AP abdomen or an AP projection in the lateral decubitus position. Most commonly, the left lateral decubitus is preferred. Both radiographs are useful in assessing the abdom abdomen in patients with free air, known as peritoneum, and in determining the presence and location of air fluid levels. Because of the wide range and thickness of the abdomen, and the delicate differences in the physical density between the contained viscera, it is necessary to use a more critical exposure technique than is required to show the difference in the density between an opacified organ and the structures adjacent to it. The exposure factor should be adjusted to produce a radiograph with moderate gray tones and less black and white contrast. Sharply defined outlines of the psoas muscles, the lower border of the liver, and the kidneys, the ribs, and the transverse processes of the lumbar vertebrae are the best criteria for judging the quality of an abdominal radiograph. Here, in image B, this is an AP abdomen showing proper positioning and collimation. The kidneys, known as the dotted lines, are visible. The margin of the liver is the dashed line, and the psoas muscles are the dot to dash lines. Voluntary motion produces a blurred outline of these structures, such as the liver, psoas muscles, and spine. Patient breathing during exposures results in blurring of this bowel gas and their outlines in the upper abdomen and the diaphragm as well. A radiographer can limit this voluntary motion by giving either clear instructions or immobilization of the patient if necessary. Involuntary motion caused by peristalsis may produce either a localized or a generalized haziness of the image. Common pathological conditions associated with abdominal radiographs are abdominal aortic aneurysms, bowel obstructions, ileus, metastasis, pneumoperitoneum, or tumors. These are just some pathological conditions. Here we have a radiograph, an actual enlarged portion of the AP abdomen with the patient in the left lateral decubitus position. This radiograph is demonstrating free air in the abdominal cavity. The patient's left side is closest to the IR and the right side, as marked here, is upright. Here is another enlarged portion of an upright AP chest showing free air in that same patient. Here is an AP upright abdomen showing air fluid levels pointed out by the arrows. And here is an AP abdomen showing intestinal obstruction in this same patient.